Here are some examples of problems about linear approximations and Newton's method. Problem 1. Find the linear approximation to f of x equals square root of x at x0 equals 1 and use it to estimate the square root of 1.2. The equation for the linear approximation is approximately f of x is f of x0 plus f prime of x0 times x minus x0. So we know that f of x0 is just equal to square root of 1, which is 1, and then f prime of x is equal to 1 half times x to the minus 1 half, since square root of x is just x to the 1 half. This means that f prime of x0 is equal to 1 half times 1 to the minus 1 half, which is just a half. This means we can write our equation as f of x is approximately equal to 1 plus 1 half times x minus 1, which is equal to 1 half x plus 1 half. Now to use it to find square root of 1.2, we can take square root of 1.2 equals f of 1.2, which is approximately equal to 1 half times 1.2 plus 1 half, which is equal to 0 0.6 plus 0 0.5, and that's just equal to 1.1. So that's our approximation. Problem 2. Use Newton's method to find an approximate root of f of x equals x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 in two iterations. If we plug in 1 for x, then we get f of x is equal to 1 plus 3 minus 1, which is 3, which is relatively close to 0. So let's start with x naught equals 1. So to start off with, we need to calculate the derivative of this function. So we have that f of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 and f prime of x is 3x squared plus 6x, just by taking the derivative. Now the first iteration tells us x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f prime of x0. So if we plug this in, this gives us 3, sorry, 1 minus 3, which is f of 1, divided by 3 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1, which is 1 minus 3 over 9, which is equal to 1 minus a third, which equals 2 thirds. Now let's do the second iteration. x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 over f prime of x1 which is equal to 2 thirds minus 2 thirds cubed plus 3 times 2 thirds squared minus 1 divided by 3 times 2 thirds squared plus 6 times 2 thirds. Now let's record that x1 was equal to 2 thirds and continue from up here. x2 is equal to 2 thirds minus this fraction, which is 8 over 27 plus 4 over 3 minus 1 divided by 4 over 3 plus 4. And this is equal to 2 thirds minus 17 over 27 on the top, since 4 thirds minus 1 is 1 third, and 1 third is 9 twenty-sevenths, and then 8 plus 9 is 17 then divided by 4 is 12 thirds, so 16 thirds. And now if we multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by 27, we get 17 divided by 9 times 16 is 144. Now 2 thirds is 96 over 144, so if we subtract these, then we'll get 79 over 144. That's our approximation.